Hi guys, Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I want to show you how to construct a file for one of these and just how to put it together. Now these turning wheel cards are quite popular and they're not very difficult to design the file for. So I'm just going to show you roughly what you need to do. So these are all the elements that I actually need. What I'm going to do is take that go to Object, Duplicate, and I'm going to duplicate it three times. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the colour out of this because it's altered the layering system, that's all it's done. So I want that colour. I'll just take that and make it black, and then I'll take the fill out. There we go. So you can see they're all the same. Now this one is going to be the back of my car. So the only things I need on this are the back of the card itself. I don't need, let's break this apart. Actually, I'll take all of them and break it apart and maybe that will stop me having to do it later on. I don't need the heart on there and I don't need that shape there. That I need. So take that and group. For the template itself, I'll remove that and I'm going to keep all that in there. But what I'm going to do is copy that, paste it, and I'm going to take away the part. That is actually going to be the wheel that I'm going to use. So group that one together. There we are. So that's a template. If I want to do any stamping, that will have a hole to stamp through or to write through or whatever I'm going to do. If I'm going to do a print and cut, then that will be the basic shape. If it's going to be stamped images, again, that's the basic shape. And this one is the front. So in this particular case, I want to take away that frame there. And I definitely want to take away the center point because I don't want that ruining the front of my card. And then I want to group that. So I have all my elements. Now, if I want to make this a print and cut, then all I have to do, for example, if I was going to use text, da, 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 just make that the right size and I could put it in there. Okay, now you can do different things all the way around if that's what you want to do. And the easiest way of doing this is just to group that, we do a print and cut, and just rotate it. And then do some more writing there group it, rotate it, and you can do whatever it is you're going to do all the way around the outside. And that's it, done. Not difficult at all. So I've got my base done and I've put it in my card frame here. Because I'm notoriously bad at lining things up, I actually made my card to fit my frame. So it would make life a lot easier for me. So I have my back piece here, which has, again, got the hole in it. And I have this piece which has got a hole. So all I do to actually construct it is to put a brad through that hole and open it up on that side. And basically I've got everything constructed. But first of all, I need to pick a design and do some stamping and maybe some colouring. So I've got something to look at in my window. So I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, I've done my stamping. And what I've done is I have used a stamp and I have used this as a mask and I started off with just the ears showing then when I moved it around I gradually got more of my stamp showing so there he is at the end so I have my back piece of card and I need a brad now as it happens I've only got decorative brads so I'm going to have to make do with one of these. I want one which is relatively flat, so I think I'm going to go for a little flower one because that's quite flat. 
my bread can go through from the back of my card. So I need to put a slightly larger hole in there as well. I didn't make the holes large to start with because I prefer them tight and then I can enlarge them if need be. So there it is. Put my image on there and then just open up the arms or whatever they're called. I don't know what these things are called. There must be a technical term for them, I'm sure. I just don't know what it is. And just move it a few times just to ease that hole because it was a small one and I want to make sure it will still rotate. There we go. So all I'm going to do is use some double-sided sticky tape on the edges to stick it together. So that's my working piece. And because I have a flat brad, I really don't have to bother too much with the back of this. If you have a very thick brad or one that's rounded, then you need to put sticky back foam on the back of here to raise it up slightly or else your wheel will stop turning, which would be very bad news indeed. Pop that down in there. Pop that like that and lift this up. And then I can just take that out and press. And I've got my piece nicely put onto the front of my card. I've also got a little piece of trim to put around there and a tiny little arrow. So here's the finished card. And as you can see, it turns quite easily. But there we go. That's how to do a very simple wheel type card. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.